screencast and then index.php and we loaded that page and we see our page here uh, and you can see here it's, it's 520 pixels wide so it's not spanning the entire width of the page and the reason for that being that we want it to fit within that 520 pixel width of the Facebook page and that we set our container div to 520 pixels wide. One thing we're, we should notice here is that we don't see our whole page and we don't see any scroll bars. And the reason for that is that we went ahead and added overflow hidden to our body tag. So we want to go ahead and erase that. We want to re-upload the page. So I just went ahead and uh, re-uploaded the page through Dreamweaver. Go back to the page and let's go ahead and refresh it. And now we can see our scroll bars. Now if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we can see all our testimonials. We can see uh, the award. And it looks like we're good to go. One thing we want to remember here is that uh, we want to make sure we test the page in all the browsers. So while we're only testing here in Chrome, and we want to make sure that we're testing in Safari and Firefox, Internet Explorer and Opera, uh, just to make sure that the page looks and functions exactly how we want it to. So the next thing we want to do is create our app. Now that our page is uploaded and, and we have all the data that we need, including the Facebook uh, SDK file, we want to actually go ahead and add our application. We want to actually add the iframe to the page. So let's go through how to do that. So the first thing we want to do is we need to go to the Facebook developers page. So it's facebook.com slash developers. Go ahead and hit enter. And we need to log in. If you aren't already logged in, you want to make sure and do that. And what you'll see here is you'll see the developer form. What might happen for you is if you aren't already added the developer app, it'll just uh, ask you to give it permission. So just go ahead and do that. In the top right up here, you're going to see a button that says set up new app. Go ahead and click that. And then we're going to name our app. So um, this isn't what the what's actually going to show up in the tab. Uh, this is just the name that you're going to see. So make sure you know that. Um, it, it's, you know, it's just whatever name you feel is most appropriate. So we're going to call this test landing page. Go ahead and, and of course, uh, agree to the Facebook terms. Um, if you do agree with them, go ahead and hit agree and click create app. Uh, make sure you fill out the security. Hit submit. And now you're going to get a bunch of options. And these are all the options you're going to fill out for your um, individual landing page. So we see the application name up here. We, we can go ahead and add a, a description of the landing page. Let's say um, a landing page for our 